Hello and welcome to another video. And today, as you can see, we are Merch GP19 once again. As per usual, like what other game we're really going to play? Another Merch GP game, maybe the F1 game, you know. Always usual sort of stuff. But as you will have seen by the title and thumbnail, I assume, we are doing the last to first challenge here at the Circuit de Bruno. It's not, it's not going to be called Circuit de Bruno, is it? It's uh, the Bruno Circuit or whatever. I think it's called like the Autodromo. Some of Bruno. Whatever, anyway. Trying to butcher the name. We are here as Carol Abraham since he's from the Czech Republic himself. We thought, I thought, why not play as the hometown hero really here? I think his dad owns a track as well, so it's a really hometown hero kind of thing for Carol Abraham here. And uh, I haven't really had a replacement to the no overtakes on that one challenge, so I was like, let's just do a last to first challenge. Also, I've put myself on the worst bike. Not really on purpose. I've picked him because he's Czech, not because of his bike. But I've also made the challenge about a million times harder by giving myself a dreadful bike. Considering that I only really work on a Yamaha because of how it handles, this is not going to go very well. So let's uh, start the race. Just seconds away from the start of the race, the riders are coming down to the start of the Czech Grand Prix here in Brno. So Rins and Rossi are first and second. You will see, uh, you might see a couple of aero fairing mods in here. Uh, it's just something I'm, I'm working. Well, it's not actually my mod. I just packed it for somebody, and I was just testing to see if it works. And I forgot to take the mods off, so apologies for that. Uh, so I can't link it or anything. So don't ask for that. Uh, it's not my mod. But I'll let you know once it has been released by the actual creator and I'll link it or whatever. But anyway, uh, yeah, we are on 120% AI. I'll say that before, you know, I'll start making up positions because people are probably wonder otherwise because AI are a lot worse than people give them credit for, I think, sometimes, even on this game still. Because look at the run out of turn one there. We're up to 18th already. To watch out for this corner. Try not to go in too hot. I've gone in pretty hot. We've just hit uh, Nakagami out the way there. Bit of a mistake. We're up to 12th. Oh, and we've just hit Bangnaya as well. I clipped the inside curve and hit Bangnaya. So that's uh, been a pretty dirty start for myself there. I've absolutely dived Nakagami and accidentally clipped the curve. And um. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Mia was trying to take revenge for the AI then. <laughs> sure, Mia wasn't having that at all. Right, <laughs> Gotta recompose myself here, we've run wide through turn eight. But I don't know what Jean Mir was trying there, but he was never gonna get that stop, so that's gonna be him definitely at the back of the back of the field now. So I have to probably keep his eye on his progress through the pack. But we are still sat in P11. Uh, apologies again, I just missed Jujuba Breaker Zone and hit Nakagami just a little bit, like and uh, then Bangnara just kind of didn't have the turn in I thought I was gonna have. Sort of clipped the curve and went even wider, and I was just on his inside, so I kind of just went into him. Probably should have given the place back, but I didn't want to risk losing any more, so I thought I'd we'll just keep it. We're closing up on two M1s now, so hopefully we can try and use the power of this Ducati to get them, but we wheel spun on the kerb, so that's definitely not happening anytime soon. But overall, not a bad first lap to be in P11 behind Fabio Quattararo. We've got a good run out the last corner though, side by side with him. We passed him up to the line, so we're actually P10 at the end of the first lap. Now we've got the six stream on Morbidelli, another M1. Up the inside, we go into turn one. We sat him up a little bit there, but he didn't need to sit up. He could have run around the outside, really. Uh, that's probably putting him behind Quattarara. Another M1 in front of us, Vinales. So the M1 sort of sandwich, well, not sandwich, but the line of M1s. We've got an amazing run compared to Vinales. You really forget like how much, like a lack of power the Yamaha really has. Because they actually did uh, give the Yamaha like a power in this game, like they have in all of the other ones. So the Yamaha is like no longer about as fast as a Ducati in a straight line. But out of turn eight we go. Not turn eight. We're, in, we're chasing down P8. That's where I got that from. Oh, we sort of sat Vinales up a good bit as well. That's sort of how you have to pass these uh, high corner speed riders through the final turn. Cash looks capricious a bit. 53.6 for Marquez. That's a good lap. 54.5 for myself. Which actually, on a uh, on the the bike I'm on, that's actually pretty good. Same with the tyres I'm on as well. I'm actually quite happy with that. Um, but it doesn't, doesn't look like we'll be winning the race with that kind of pace from Mark Marquez. That's for sure. Oh, Cal's broke a bit early. Attacking Cal. We've sat him up. So yet another sit-up move from myself there. I think I'm going for all these moves a bit too last minute. But we're past Cal Crutchlow now. I mean, I can't really keep using the bike being terrible as an excuse to sit people up. But uh, I have to kind of go hard in on the brakes to uh, make these moves. 
because AI, I, I was saying that they were a little bit, you know, worse than people give them credit for, which they are. People uh, tend to think they're pretty good, which they are, they're not bad. They're not as bad as last year, that's for sure. They're much more intelligent, but their pace can still be a bit uh, dodgy in MotoGP. I'm sure the Vintia team would be very happy with 7th, but uh, if we can get even higher than that, maybe probably got his eyes on Petrucci really from this far back. But Miller's not had a good run through there at all. I think he's struggling with the rear tyre a little bit. I don't know what rear tyre he's got in, but if he's struggling at this stage, he is uh, definitely in trouble. In two turn three now. Oh, I kind of decided up for the last second there. Just because I went down another gear and the rear stepped out. So next up is Petrucci, and then it looks like it's Valentino Rossi. And then it must be Dovi, Marquez and Rins in the leading pack. Made a couple of mistakes on the brakes there. 54.9, so that kind of reflects how about half a second slower than I had been going. I'm struggling to make inroads on Petrucci really now. The pace has dropped a little bit. I'm making a few mistakes here and there. Probably going a bit too conservative, trying not to make mistakes as well in some parts. Better lap on my behalf there. We're putting Petrucci under some pressure now. Yeah, back into the 54.5 there. So only about two tenths off we did fastest earlier on in the race. We had plenty of grip. And that's it, stream Petrucci. We go up towards the line 54.9. So a bit of a worse lap for me, but I still kind of caught Petrucci a bit. Here we go. And this might be it. The run we've been looking for. Well, he moved over on us late there. It's going to make me be a bit hot in. He might want to get back under. Yeah, he has. He moved back to the racing line sort of very late as I was about to sort of commit to his outside, really, because I thought we'd stay to the inside. I know, he, I know he did come back over because I've been watching his racing line, but I didn't know he come back over that late. So I thought he decided to stay over as a defensive line, but I was wrong. We've got a very good run on Danilo now. To the left hand side towards the penultimate turn. The inside we go. Up into P5. Oh, he's. Whoa, I don't know what he was doing there, but he sort of nearly hit us. I think he's had to sit up. So that's given us a bit of a lead over him now. So up into fifth, but I don't see the gap to Valentino Rossi being uh, shrunk very much. He's 3.2 in front, so I don't think we're going to catch him now. So I think it's all about consolidating this P5, which. I would say Carlo Abraham and Avinti would definitely be happy with. Oh, it's coming up towards the line to start the final lap. Marquez is a country mile ahead of everybody. And it's Rins and Dobby in second and third. Uh, a couple of seconds behind them is Valentino. And then I'm about four seconds behind Rossi myself. So, so I've just got to bring it home now. We've got a big lead back to Petrucci really. So I've just got to try and not make any mistakes. Out of the last corner, just managed to hang on because Miller and Petrucci were battling, but Miller was catching me quite a bit before that. So we managed to just hang on to that fifth place there, so it's pretty good. The podium awards ceremony. Let's take a look at the final MotoGP race results. So our pace was actually pretty decent for the bike we had. I mean, we were... I mean, Marquez really in a league of his own there. Davizioso the only other rider actually into the 53s, and I was in the 53.9, whereas Marquez comfortably into the 53s at the 53.6. He won the race by only six seconds, so that's pretty ridiculous. Um, saying, it, saying it's only a 50%er as well, it's a pretty big lead to have over uh, 
over Rins in second there. Obviously, Dobby was keeping him honest, only a few tenths back in there in third place. Rossi in fourth, he was way too far for a Sakai, about three point something once we, we got a. Uh, finally passed Petrucci and he got to about 5.4 I think at the end I really slowed the pace down at the end because I didn't want to crash uh, Miller 6th then 7th for Petrucci 8th for Crutch so 9th for Quattararo so we actually managed to keep those positions we uh, gave him by sitting up the other two Yamahas uh, 10th for Vinales and 11th for Morbidelli uh, 12th for Lorenzo 13th for Nakagami 14th for Mir after his, uh, his uh, weird incident on the first lap 15th there for Zarco, 16th for Siren, 17th for Oliveira, 18th for Bagnaia, 19th for Inone, 20th for Alessio Spagro, 21st for Tito Rabat, and 22nd for Paula Spagro. So uh, we definitely have performed our teammate by quite a bit there. He was 41 seconds off, and how far were we off? 13, so we were a lot closer to Marquez than he was. But uh, yeah, anyway guys, I hope you've enjoyed that one. Uh, if you want to see more things like that, so uh, more challenges, uh, last and first challenges every every time it's a race weekend. Let me know because I'll just uh, and let me know what rider you'd like to see as well for the following race weekend. Obviously for this one, uh, I just picked Abraham because he's from the Czech Republic. Probably would like to pick maybe a, a bit of a better bike next time because I definitely struggled to keep that one in line a couple of times there in that race. But overall, pretty enjoyable challenge for myself there because I was uh, it was pretty intense race with Petrucci. I'm not gonna, not sure like how that will come across in the video, but for a good like four or five laps, we were just uh, sort of. I was gaining on him a little bit and then he was getting away and we were pretty close and we were breaking at about the same point so it was really hard to make any progress. I think his uh, tyre started to let him down at the end though which is where I sort of attacked and it seemed like Miller was definitely coming back with his tyre. But yeah like I said I hope you have enjoyed that one. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I shall see you in the next video. Even if he didn't make the podium his placing shows that the bike and rider are competitive. If he keeps this up the team can find itself fighting for the top positions.